Jefferson Lewis Edmonds was born enslaved in Crawford, Mississippi, and spent a majority of his life in the South. During the Reconstruction era, he learned how to read and write through the Freedmen Bureau School. He became a teacher and educated people in his community, but he also became really active in civil rights. Doing that work, he was often threatened with violence, and so because of that experience, it's what led him to move to Los Angeles. He talked about starting his paper as a way to connect black families and to connect people that were moving to LA. What's great about The Liberator is that it's, it's not the first black newspaper in LA, but The Liberator was one of the first newspapers that kind of covered hard news, covered international news, talked about elections and uh, policies that would affect the black community. He thought that this paper would be kind of a voice for the emerging community that was really hungry for information, for ownership, and a different way of seeing their life after the Reconstruction era. He saw LA as this beautiful place where your dreams could come true. And I think that kind of vision for California and LA specifically, we still see today. My father and I knew that we wanted these stories to be available to the public and for people to have access to this information. And so we've partnered with the Los Angeles Public Library to get everything digitized. So we have the full run of the paper um, and they have been an amazing partner with us. Our vision for this is not only to make this available for scholars and for research and for students, but it's also for people to see a reflection of themselves and to be able to feel like someone cared about them and someone was thinking about them.